I was shocked, not shocked that she had CP, but the fact that she came early and then knowing that something might still be wrong with her. Here, come on. Follow mom. I'm right here. And then finding out something was wrong with her and not just having a normal child that she can just put down and let go play. Now bend your leg, bend your leg. There you go. Now you're up there. So with her, it's a lot more one-on-one -on -one that you, I mean, I can't leave her by herself. The group of kids primarily that we recommend a dorsal rhizotomy for are young children, three, four, five, six years old. They're traditionally children who primarily have tone related to cerebral palsy, um, primarily in their legs. The selective dorsal rhizotomy is a neurosurgical procedure. That means it's being performed by a neurosurgeon, in our case, Dr. Sam Browd. And it is a way that we can decrease the child's spasticity or your child's spasticity permanently. Are you ready? <laughs> What happens in cerebral palsy and other conditions, you're having the influence that the brain would normally have on the spinal cord is abnormal. And so what it does is allows an abnormal reflex loop to develop between motor and sensory nerves at the level of the spinal cord. By reducing the sensory input, so the input into the legs, um, by cutting selectively some nerves, and those are sensory nerves, a small percent of them, it actually decreases the uh, muscle tone. So it decreases the um, hypertonicity or the spasticity. Yes, Sarah Bell. The team approach at Seattle Children's is really instrumental in the success of the surgery. The other thing that's key is the post-surgery follow-up. We believe it's critical for a child to participate in an intensive inpatient rehabilitation stay after the dorsal rhizotomy. What we're trying to do is to get just one muscle to activate at a time so that she has more control over what her body's doing when she's trying to move. Okay, are you helping us? Chin down. I decided to come to Children's not primarily because Dr. Apcon is here, but because we knew her. And then the main reason was the inpatient rehab. 